Rebecca, what are you doing? I'm trying to reduce my carbon footprint. Well, you don't even actually have to tiptoe to reduce your carbon footprint. In fact, there's a lot of ways to do it even in your own home. Here, I'll show you. Our carbon footprint is based off of our actions and behaviors that are releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So just like how Miss Becca left her footprint in the garden, we each leave our own footprint on the planet. But what is carbon dioxide? Um, everyone take a deep breath in and out. What did I just breathe in? Oxygen. Oh, and what did I just breathe out? Carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide, exactly. Me and this tree have a symbiotic relationship or a relationship where we're both helping each other. So every time that I'm breathing out carbon dioxide, this tree is absorbing that carbon dioxide in and then letting out the oxygen that I'm eventually going to breathe. So let's break it down. So the tree is releasing oxygen, which I am breathing in, and then releasing carbon dioxide, which the tree then absorbs. But we're not the only ones that are releasing CO2 into our atmosphere. Let's think of some other examples of things that happen in our daily lives that are also releasing CO2. with a light. This light is obviously giving off light, but it's also giving off heat. I also need two containers. In these two containers, I have two thermometers. Right now, each thermometer reads 65 degrees. I'm going to leave both of these containers with their thermometers under this light that is also giving off heat, but I'm going to put a lid on one of the containers, and we're going to see which container gets the hottest the quickest. So far in this experiment, the container with the lid is getting hotter quicker. So we're gonna check that one more time, but while we're waiting to check that, let's think about what this experiment represents. I'll give you a clue for the first one. Our lamp is representing the sun, which is giving off light and heat. So what do you think the containers represent? If you said Earth, you're correct. Yeah! Now here's the tricky one. So if we have the sun releasing light and heat onto our Earth, what do you think the lid represents? The atmosphere. behind me is just like the container with the lid in our experiment. Whew, it's really hot in here. We're basically inside of the container, which is trapping heat from the sun. This is known as the greenhouse gas effect, where heat and all of that carbon dioxide that we have learned that we release get trapped in our atmosphere, warming up the planet. So you'll never have no footprint. It's hard to walk without leaving even a tiny trace, but we can learn to walk lighter on the planet. If you'd like to learn more about how to measure your own carbon footprint as well as ways to reduce it, you can scan this QR code or hit the link in our comments.